It's bonus. We're recording. Bobos. 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 Okay. Wait. Wait. So. Wait, wait. There we go. Sooner picks. Yeah. Hi. Well, this is classes in session with uh, I'm your teacher, uh, Miss Miss Vanity. Hi. Cut the. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Your life's you know the information. I just yeah. doxed myself. Let's not. Mm. You're giving away back too much to- context up. already. Yeah. You're like, oh, they know back where you want to stay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's start over again. Let's start over again. Yep. I'm gonna buy my ass on LinkedIn or something. The fuck? Get me out. <laughs> okay. Back up. <laughs> start from here. Hi, welcome. Welcome to uh, Under the Plum Bob Schoolhouse. I am your teacher, Yay. School Mom Vanity. We have my students here. Introduce yourself, <laughs> students. It's Jess. And it's Allie. Hello. Today, class, it's a very exciting lesson uh, to close out November. Um, and the uh, this first part of the holiday season of the Americas, the United States of America, not the Canada Americas, I think there's is in October or something. Um, welcome to the Thanksgiving episode, Truth, Massacre, and Disease. <laughs> Yay! And disease. <laughs> Love, pray, eat. <laughs> <laughs> what you, you were getting today? Yeah. Everybody wrap up tight. It's nice and cold outside. <laughs> Grab your smallpox blanket. It's about to get fun. I got a blanket. Let's Yay. go. <laughs> I hope it's got some communicable diseases in it. Because it sure is. did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, but for cereal, um, this, I, uh, if you don't know, went to school for many of things. I wanted originally to be a doctor, um, but I realized I don't like math and they do a lot of that shit and I just don't want to do that. But really, um, what I wanted to be was a historian. I loved the History Channel since I was a small, tiny child and I wanted to be on the History Channel. Like, I watched it all the time, and I loved history. I loved historical, like, books. I loved anything like that. Like, give me historical fiction. Give me historical anything. And I was just curious. We had encyclopedias. We had world books because I'm old, and they came to door to door. And oh yeah, um, my dad bought them because if you were selling something educational, he was going to buy it. Um, and I had the I fancy ones just... with the gold on the edges. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> My yeah. parents don't have that. Mm-hmm. 1998 edition, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> it's completely out of date. But that's okay. <laughs> the last president you see is Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everything is good. <laughs> Everything's great. Economy is fine. Yeah. Nothing, nothing happened. Good. Nothing happened. Nothing, dips, nothing happens after that. Dips. <laughs> we, we have all the world trade centers everything is fine um <laughs> nothing hurts anywho so uh i used to read a whole bunch and whenever i would have a question about something but i was always like you go look it up so um and whenever i would get grounded from things like my parents wouldn't ground me from outside i say my parents my dad didn't really ground me with my mom she wouldn't ground me from like you can't go outside with your friends because i didn't go outside anyway so i would get grounded from <laughs> I get grounded from like the TV. So then I was like, oh, fine. I can't watch TV. Well, then I'm going to make my own TV. So I would go and research something that I wanted to know about in the world book. And then I would do a PowerPoint presentation on it. And then I would force my parents to pay it to uh, sit through the PowerPoint presentation um, that I made about what I learned. And how much was that the punishment for your parents? Even though that's supposed to be a punishment for you? <laughs> and like, you just reverse psychology then? Like, you know what? I'm grounded. Guess what? I want you Y'all to- guys are through a PowerPoint want- presentation now. I <laughs> want you to, I want you to ask me if, how long my week-long punishment lasted. 
<laughs> After that PowerPoint, PowerPoint. presentation. <laughs> No yeah, you spent too much time, too much time. Uh, go I'm outside. Go outside. Dad was flat out like, I'm not doing this again, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> go let her watch some TV. Like 40 chess. <laughs> Your punishment is going outside. That's what it is. You said, beat it. Go let her watch some TV. I don't give a shit, but I'm not doing this again. Um, <laughs> because I would also have a QA afterwards. I'd make them like, I'd make oh! some questions. <laughs> A little, like a little quiz portion and they were paying attention so like mm. how do I feel like you have quizzes like in between too in between quiz I could make a badass powerpoint y'all I've been making powerpoint since I was 10 like <laughs> I had windows 95 mm. I hated when teachers like when we'd have to do projects like make sure you have a question that you ask your other students because everyone's got to ask a question I'm like I would hate to have my kid doing that to me and your kid had like five <laughs> questions too. And they were like in depth. They were like, they were like yes or no questions. They were like, okay, so. <laughs> Anywho, so that being said, this is one of the ones that um, I remember. I don't remember how old I was. I was living at home and I was not, in, I think I was like junior high, maybe, maybe early high school. And the History Channel played this thing. This is before they got all aliens and like Hitler. They were actually playing other things on the History Channel, and yeah. they, were talk- they they did a whole thing on the real Thanksgiving, y'all. My whole brain meat was like blown. I was like, "Exquisite me!" And it's now been like my one of my favorite things to tell people about this and the other ones of Texas, which eventually I'll tell you about that too because that girl was a badass. Um, but so this is the true story of Thanksgiving. First, I'm going to preface with, in case you don't know what Thanksgiving, the story of Thanksgiving is, um, go watch the Hey Arnold episode. It's bomb. Mm-hmm. But beyond that. Um, that was a good ass episode. <laughs> that was. <laughs> that was <laughs> an amazing episode. It was great. Honestly, uh, Hey Arnold was like a solid show. That was a yeah. solid hey show. Hey Arnold has... Watch it today. It fucking stands up. That shit it still stands. Really does I watched a little bit of it day. not too long ago. Ooh, it was what's still. Op- what's Opera Arnold will stand as one of my favorite episodes of like cartoon TV ever. Um, anywho, so the 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 lie we're told as children um, in school about Thanksgiving is that the Pilgrims landed in. Um, the Mina, the Pinta, and Santa Maria, or something, the Mayflower. Mayflower. And they... Mayflower. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that also Santa Maria? Was it one of those? Columbus was the other one. That was Columbus. Columbus was the Santa Maria, the ocean Maria. blue, yeah, like, and all that shit. His was also a lie. His was also yeah. a lie. But that whatever. Was, it was a really good yeah. rhyme they thought to give us in school. It was a really good rhyme. They did. To make us they, learn it was shit. Long. And that was about it. We'll do that. We'll do that next year because uh, Columbus Day is Canadian Thanksgiving. So we'll do that next oh year. Oh my god! Guys. Yes! <laughs> so awkward. Um, he, yeah. didn't, he didn't land on either one of those places, guys. No. <laughs> either one of them. <laughs> he was nowhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so the pilgrims came over. Um, and they hit on the Mayflower. They like landed up Plymouth Rock, which y'all side note that bitch is actually a rock. Mm-hmm. Why did I it's think that Plymouth Rock? I thought that Plymouth Rock was like a like a place or like a like a mountain or like even a yeah. India, large I thought it was like hill. a cliff or something. Yeah, like, it, is like, go- it is like the size of this Beats case. It is like <laughs> <laughs> it is so. Hard. It is the dumbest damn thing I've seen in my entire life. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Whatever, guys. <laughs> it makes that whole That's Malcolm all- X thing, you know, well, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Sound a little bit weird now because I'm like, the pebble landed on you, Malcolm X? I know, that's why I imagine the pebble just like falling all over. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the, the, the pilgrims came and then they were like, we are escaping religious persecution. We want to be a real religious over here and they're over there like in the England saying no we're coming over to the Americas also we want free land 
So they, they flip, flip over, right? Um, they come over and they are stupid. And they uh, don't know how to live in a place that is cold as fuck nuts. And they also don't know how to farm. They do not think any of this shit through. Mind <laughs> you, like... 10 or 20% of them died on the way over here because they're stupid. Mm -hmm. And then they get here and then they're like, oh shit, we ran out of food because we don't fucking, like they got lost a little bit at sea for a hot second. So they got there late. They get there and like, they're like, oh shit, it's winter time. We don't, what do we, what do we do for hands? And so they send some people back and they're like, okay. And then these nice, nice, uh native americans come over they're like oh my gosh are you guys hungry have some maize this is our you guys look cold corn. have some have some of our buckskins you guys look soups cold have we're just let's sit down and have a feast together we're gonna feed you and teach you how to farm and plant and we're gonna sing kumbaya and we're gonna be friends Coexisting. Shouldn't have done that. Nope. Shouldn't have done that. Nope. Nope. Should have let them white people that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And then. They should have. And then, then, like, the curtain ends, and we all, and we all color hand turkeys and, um, like cornucopias with the fruit. And then we go home and we eat turkey. We lapse into a coma, and and people watch football. The end. Thanksgiving. Right. And then we go shopping super early in the morning. Eh, wrong. <laughs> this is what actually happens on Thanksgiving, guys. So first to mo first first. First a mo first first. Like guys, let's get it completely, completely seen. The Native Americans that were there were uh, the Wampanoag tribe of people. And like they effing hate Thanksgiving. Like the the people, the tribe today, they're like, fuck y'all and y'all fucking Thanksgiving bullshittery because it sucks. It's traumatic. They have to sit through these freaking Thanksgiving day parades on Thanksgiving plays and watch this bastardized story of their ancestors, right? Uncool. Okay. So So I fully, I fully support them trying to take back Martha's Vineyard. I right. Oh yeah, yeah. Take, oh, it back. yeah. And take the rock back too. Yeah, take, take it back the rock back. Yeah. Real quick, see, he looked it up. All you gotta do is go, yeah. go. chuck it Just in the ocean. It. You know what? Take it back. Put it. Put it in it like a rope swing. It's not like blinking at people. They try to take it away from you. Just stop using it as a weapon, man. Just yeah. fucking <laughs> switch out it around. They deserve Not it. Put the rock. Put the rock's gonna land on you. <laughs> land on your face, bitch. I mean, just, I promise you. When y'all hear this shit, you'll be like, I, "Let me go get you some rocks." Okay. Yep. <laughs> so, what happened is, all right. So the big, the big, you know, the friendly Indians. Uh, and what kills me is that we never knew the tribe name. Right? It was just like some. Un- unidentified, ambiguous, random Native American tribe of Cherokee Princess, Pocahontas, whatever. You know, like we just With fucking feathers, <laughs> feathers, feathers. Mm-hmm. Oh, racism. You know, we didn't give a shit. Um, and then, like, <laughs> what kills me the most is like, and then they're like, yeah, they just, t- they just give them their, give them dinner, and then they just go. Exit stage left, right? They just fucking give them their land and peace out, bean sprout, and that's it. Like, we never see them again. Like, they just give up their land. Like, they haven't been living on it for a bajillion, bajillion years beforehand. They don't give up. They're like, you know what? You're white. You deserve my land. Goodbye. I'm just gonna, I, you know what? I'm gonna go jump in the ocean. I don't deserve <laughs> to live. Goodbye. It's yours. It's your land now. This land is your land. <laughs> <laughs> Song, I think of Luck of the Irish at the very end. <laughs> oh, that almost choked on my vodka. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm going to sing the song of, song of everyone together. This land is your but No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love that movie. Uh, oh, Ryan Merriman. He was great. He was a good one. 
Early yeah. 2000s so, gold. Right? Disney had some early 2000s gold. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's we're going to point out these inaccuracies like in little chunks, okay? Like I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to overhaul the whole story at one time. We're going to like overhaul little pieces cuz it, it's easier to digest that way and also it's more fun. All right, so one of the things is that like first of all, these Native Americans weren't just like they 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 lived there for like 12,000 years. But these mofos didn't just like appear out of like thin air like oh you're here on you landed surprise or magical natives like that's not how this works like no they've been there and they have a fucking history with the english because you know the english has been coming over like the pilgrims weren't the first folk fuckers to come over also that's a weird thing that people that like they i don't know why for some reason like the way it's portrayed as when we were kids, it's pretty like they're like one of the first people to come over. No. no. First of all, we had many settlements that came over and failed because again, no one knew how to fucking farm because they're stupid. That's true. Or they would come or they would come over and they would go to like they would like land in different places. You know what I mean? Or they would come over, settle a little bit where they were, and then move a little bit forward. People will settle for a little while, then go back. Like this has been a thing. Like mm-hmm. this has been a thing. Yes. So been all they had over. Seen the, they had seen the English before. They knew them. And, um, like, they were like, eh, okay, we have seen you before. We have fought you before because we have had war with you fuckers. And y'all have fucking tried to raid our camps and take our people into slavery because you guys don't think, you just think we're savage and beneath you. Because anybody who doesn't look like you is beneath you does that ring a bell to anybody hmm. anyway hmm. <sighs> um anywho um i love how that is- thought it's just in been like in, like generationally like ingrained like where like where like i wonder like i truly no one probably but where that origin of like just that oh, I can tell you that again. I have questions about these things too. It's because anybody, because people in power want to stay in power. They want people, and so they want people like them to be in power. Um, like likes like anything that's different than you is not you. You don't you don't think them as as good as you. Same thing like why mm-hmm. men are men don't think of women as good as them because they're different than them. Not a different race, a different gender. It's weird. Especially because, like, without women, you men wouldn't exist. But that's fine. Yeah. But this is why that's all they're good you. for, right? <laughs> you're just good for your pachin. That <laughs> without your uterus, your uterus no good for us. So anyway, so um, it's so bad that people like the the Wampanoags had had so much contact with the fucking Europeans beforehand with war and slavery, whatever it is, that at least two or maybe more of them spoke fucking English when they met the pilgrims. How else would they have talked to them? Right? They just didn't magically know English. Like, What would they want to do? Be like... (laughs) Like, What are we fucking playing charades over here? Like, doing gestures in the sky no like they fucking walked up to them like hey my hey my guy like mm." and they'd also been to europe and back and they knew the organizers of the pilgrims venture they knew them they weren't it wasn't a surprise when these fuckers showed up they were like oh yeah yeah, you you again what's up fuckers you know what i mean so (laughs) we've been expecting you we've been expecting your fucking Raiding ass. How's it going? Did you learn to farm yet? No, that sucks. Y'all learn to farm? No, y'all gonna die again? Okay, let us know. Okay. I'll be here to get I'll be here to get your shit when you die. Goodbye. Um wash your feet. We've been here before. We've been here, we we baked this bread. Oh, you don't have not have any bread because you can't farm. So, um, also, it's so funny because, like, their their leader, <sighs> I'm going to try to say this right, and I'm probably going to say it wrong, but it's 
Osa Mikin? Sure. Okay. I tried, guys. I'm trying, I'm using like sounded outness, but it's probably wrong, but I tried. Um he initially did reach out to them and he was like, hey, let's have an alliance. But not because he's trying to be like a nice guy. It's because half his folks have already died of a disease that they brought over beforehand. So he's like, look, we're all happy. What do y'all want? You guys, you guys keep bringing over your fucking weird ass white people diseases. And um, we still have to fight with other tribes that are around here in the forests and shit. So do you want to form like an alliance so they don't kill you as well? Like, maybe? No? Okay. That's fine. Um, <laughs> um, and like, so they did have like a scotch of alliance, but honestly, the whole like deterioration of their relationship, of the relationship between the um between the Wampanoag and then the pilgrims, slash just the English in general, ha- start like led into this horrible ass war called like the King Philip's War which is like one of the most horrific colonial Indian wars that like on record like it's sh- it's fuck all fucked like we're in uh-huh. like you know Oof. it's bad and Oklahoma still hold, you know Oklahoma is, hasn't come to the picture yet but this is still worse than that oh, geez. you know and even though through all that they're still here which is like fucking A man they said they they survived, they adapted, and they are still here as a tribe, like to this day, even though these fuckers tried to decimate them multiple times. Give them back Martha's Vineyard. Take it back. So that's like Take the first it. it was not a fucking like surprise. We we knew you were coming. Oh, so there's this, people here. No. <laughs> no. So class, one of my one of my favorite parts of this, my favorite myth, favorite myth, myth which has very much correlations to uh, the myth of the slave and how much they love being slaves during the Civil War. No correlations. Oh god, <laughs> I know, because everybody likes to rewrite history when you start to look bad. Um, you know the whole feast. <laughs> <gasps> what? Yeah. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. White people and the native people didn't yeah. break bread. Not one piece of fucking bread was broken unless it was over someone's head. Never fucking happened. <laughs> Never fucking happened. They were passing corn. I'm sorry, maize to each other. No maize. No fucking cornucopias. Nothing. No turkeys mm-hmm. that didn't even exist in the when that time. No None sense of, of community. Of not one piece of community at all. Okay. So the funny part about it is for Thanksgiving for the longest time, like the English people on that, you know, the New England people, whatever, celebrated Thanksgiving with like fucking fasting and prayer and like supplication <laughs> to God. The opposite of a feast. <laughs> <laughs> celebrate with fasting and prayer and now all we do is stuff our faces to feel so fucking full (laughs) I want to know when that flips over (laughs) I will tell you okay so (laughs) so all this (laughs) because you gotta remember the pilgrims are pious as fuck these the fuckers that like burn people at the stake for like looking funny having a cross eye you bitch why would they fucking <laughs> force themselves to death? Like, think about this for a second. All right. That's true. So, mm-hmm. in 1769, some, like, fucking pilgrim descendants, just like the daughters of the American Revolution, who lived in Plymouth, were like, our culture, our culture, identity, and authority are, are like, a, you know, we, we are descendants of pilgrims. We, we're, we own this land. We're awesome. It's slipping away. People are like, what the fuck about pilgrims? I don't give a shit about this shit. Pilgrims from what? That's like hundred years ago. The fuck, get the fuck your rock is this big. I don't give a shit about you. <laughs> so they're uh, like, we're becoming less relevant with the colonies and the early republic, you know? We're not people we want to boost some tourism to our our colonies. I want people to be like, yeah, Plymouth Rock, come visit us. 
So it's hard to plant the idea that the Pilgrims are the fathers of America. They fucking lied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. this guy, Reverend Alexander Young, um, had a whole publication, right? And he was, and in that, in a little footnote, at the bottom, he's like, this is the first Thanksgiving, the great festival of New England. People like read that little footnote and they were like, oh, hmm. <laughs> the first Thanksgiving <laughs> festival of New England. Pilgrims. Oh. And then fucking Lincoln was like, yeah, that sounds cool. This should be a holiday because we want to have, we, we have unity because we're, remember, we're, we're having a civil fucking war. Unity, guys. Let's all get together <laughs> as one and dine on turkey. Break that bread the and turkey. You. Yeah. Not the slaves, sorry, the former slaves. The, the, the former the, slaves that are still stuck in like this whole loop of like, they're not the, slaves the anymore. The people in the corner that you don't pay them. This, this. So, anywho, the others. So, <laughs> anywho. So, Lincoln and Killer did a holiday, right? He's like, thanks, fucking Gibbon. Hey, you know, Lincoln emancipated slaves and said, hey, let's have Thanksgiving. Who would have fucking knew? Um, so then, late 19th century, there was, like, this huge amount of, like, anxiety and, like, ugh, about immigration. Again. What? Of course. And then, like, the Protestant, like, white people in the United States were, like, soups unhappy about, like, European Catholic Jews coming over. Like, Catholic people and Jews are like, ooh, mm. mm -hmm. we're Protestant. We don't want none of you calf calfs and you Jews to come over here. And they're like, we just we need to assert our authority, our cultural authority over you newcomers. So how better to do this, right, than the pilgrims who are Protestant, um, when they came over this country, they founded it, and then uh, also inviting the Indians, inviting them to come over and take over their land. Like, it gives them so much, like, clout, right? We got street cred with the Indians. You guys are just, like, fucking... We just got street. We just got street, street cred of yeah. Jesus, and we we're better. So in awe of our Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Who are you? We were so cool Jesus. that the Indians just didn't know invited us over to take their land. You know, like, yeah. You know, what did what wow, did Jesus you, do for you? Mm, you pray to a deity. Well, mm. Wow. Wow. That's so basic. So. Then, you know, how I was like, so, of course, race plays into this, right? This whole racial politics and, like, you know, mm -hmm. the Indian Wars are, mm -hmm. like, ending. Because y'all gotta keep in mind, these Indian Wars are going. Like, they're, we were, they're, the U.S. was fighting with the Native Americans from, like, the time they, they put their little feety feets on this land until, like, well into, like, the 1800s. Like, because there's a lot of them and they weren't giving up their land for a fight, which, I mean, duh. They should. Yeah, they're they're still fighting them for like yeah, they are. are. They are. are still fighting them. Yeah. So the Indian Wars are coming to like a close, and it was like an opportune time to have like the Native Americans to be included in this like bounding myth. They're like, "Hi guys, we're going to include you because look, 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 you're part of the group too, right?" <laughs> so now that there's like newspapers and shit, um. And people are reading about all this violence against, like, the whites and, like, the Native people in the West. They're like, oh, we need to fix this. We can't have this stuff. And then we had, like, Reconstruction and all this violence against, you know, the Blacks in the South. We're like, we have got to make the, the, the whole nation feel good about something. Remember when we were nice people? Let's Way. take all of the blood and the teeth and the disease out of what really happened with the Wampanoag tribe and um, let's put on some hats and belt buckles and cornucopias and say that it was hunky-dory kumbaya style. And 
said it had nothing to do with the Indian Wars and nothing to do with slavery. <laughs> They're not going to talk about slavery or the Indian Wars. They're talking about happiness and gluttony, guys. Yeah. Because so Ameri- we want Americans, i.e. white Americans, to feel super, super good about the colonial past without having to actually confront that their colonial past is really, really, really shitty. Which correlates to how we tried to um, a lot of the Daughters of the American Revolution tried to like, and a lot of the South in general tried to revamp how mm-hmm. the South actually treated the slaves because uh, uh-huh. we don't want y'all. We can't. Yeah. We can't talk about how bad it actually was. Like they liked being here. We treated them as family. They were our family. Did not you see like Song of the South? South? They loved it. What are you talking right? about? They loved it. Like. I don't know those the couple of ones that had like the you know that picture saw with the whipping that was like an outlier and I, he was trying to rape a white woman actually rape a white woman child he was allergic to Just the whip and no. looking at her <laughs> it wasn't actually that bad he just like and, and that's well. what happened and oh my god and that's why he got whipped guys that's why. And if you don't believe me, why why don't you believe me? <laughs> I'm telling you. If you don't you, believe me, just believe me. Just believe don't me. Don't believe the don't believe the color. Don't believe what you're seeing. There. Believe in what I'm telling you. Talk. Don't I have such don't a trustworthy even, face? Why don't you believe me? He doesn't even know how to speak with words. Like believe me, I look like you. And then you're like, okay, sure. I'm writing it down. They can't even write, so. But I can't. And I'm going to write this newspaper. Mm -hmm. Mm. And you're going to read it. And you're going to believe it. Because if not, it makes you feel uncomfy if you don't. You're welcome! Think of how society would be if we didn't do that way back then. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Bitch, we do it now. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. They might be actually confronted it then and learned not to do what, not to whitewash it. That's not how this works. I know. <laughs> Believe me, I know. <laughs> no one wants to talk about how they're shitty. How they're <laughs> shitty. That is true. Mm-hmm. We don't talk about how we're shitty. We just are going to be shitty. And how dare you try to make me talk about my shittiness? Who are you? Don't Who? confront my shittiness. Who? Just go with it. Everybody's shitty. That. Yeah. Just go with it. I remember Everybody. my grandma my grandma wanted me because apparently um our ancestors are from like the Mayflower, like at least one of our ancestors. And she's like, you should join, like, I don't even remember the name of the group, but like the daughters of the American Revolution for the Mayflower. And I'm like Fuck no. I'm not joining that shit. <laughs> You're like, Grandma, no. No. They, no. No. Just no. No. Awkward. I've read a history book. No. <laughs> Every time I watch Gilmore Girls and like, talk about that part, I'm like, this is gross. So- I forgot about that. That she- Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. All right. So now we're talking about the property part, right? So people are like, I mean, did they? They didn't like have land. They didn't have like a line. Like they were already fighting over the lands anyway. The tribes were all fighting. We just decided just to stop the fighting, increase the peace by taking it ourselves, right? Like we were doing them a favor. Wink, wink, <laughs> wink. We were helping we them. We were helping them. And like, we weren't helping ourselves, we were helping them. Yeah. We were being super altruistic, and um, we are really good people, and I don't fucking understand why you don't fucking understand. But it's funny. <laughs> so anyway, so the thing that people don't understand is that, like, they assume that because Native Americans don't, don't have private property. So, like, 
Every, like, uh, the, the Western world, if you will, like Europe, whatever, they have, like, this is my land, and this is my land, and that is my land, and that is your land, you know? But, like, and you can't have that, because this is my land. And over, the, but the American's more of a community land, community property. Like, they still, they, like, Commies. understood their, like, <laughs> those fucking commies. <laughs> Communism, socialist, bitches. <laughs> the white people Pedro are like, we need to, we need to solve this communist China. problem. This is the real red scare, guys. So, that's, why they, that's why they called them the red man because they're the communists. <laughs> real red scare. <laughs> I sometimes hate myself. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anywho, so they have, like, community property, right? So, like, they, they kind of do were, like, Okay, so like say we were all three living like on on the community land, whatever. But I knew that that was your fucking like with mine, you know. Like this was your this mm-hmm. was your this is your home. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say this is also my home. Like I know that's your fucking home, you know what I mean. But I'm like, but if I'm not gonna if my my home like got a little bit too close to your home, you're gonna be like, bitch, you're not my land. You you're know, not and property line. Get- and hit you with an arrow or something. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to be like, it's fucking fine. I don't give a shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Kind of like that. Um, anyway, so, they're, so when the Europeans came over, they were like, we want to buy some of your land. And they were like, oh, cool. So you're like buying into our, like, our country. But they didn't realize that they were just fucking... Take take. they didn't like because they didn't have that concept because they're not fucking selfish the mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah they were like what the fuck so that they were like fuck you guys you're not gonna turn us into some landless subjugated people we're gonna fucking fight which is kind of what started the King Philip's War, you know, because mm. they were really, really annoyed, you know, uh, I'm really annoyed because like the way it was pieced out is like, okay, so like a flotilla of Wampanoag canoes, they go across the Atlantic and they go to England and they buy some land from the English there, right? Now, is that land out of the English jurisdiction? Is it now the Wampanoag's land? Of course not, because it's still under, it's still in England. So England still, England still has like dominion over the land. It's just, like, I can't just go buy, a, I rent an apartment, if I get a house, a house is still in Texas. I don't, I still have to have the laws of Texas. You know what I mean? It's not like now the law of vanity because I live in this house. <laughs> You know what I mean? My house, but, my uh, rules. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sovereign state. <laughs> so, uh, but that's kind of what the English were doing to the Wampanoags. They're like, they're gonna take, we're gonna take this land, and uh, we know it's in your fucking land, and you're in your area, in your piece, right? Like we, t- we know it's in your, but it's. But it's still, it's now governed by. Yes, but it's ours. It's, it's ours. Government. Don't it's cross this people. line. See this line? This is. Our rules. Can't cross this our line. germs. Our germs. Mm-hmm. I don't care what you want we to do. We licked it. It's our stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's spit on and it's mine. And they're like, I shit here. <laughs> and they're like, I don't care. Ooh, spit Trump shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, they run away screaming. I don't fucking know, right? <laughs> so, like, the worst part is that, like, when 
the chief of the Wampanoags went to go reach out to the English, like, hey, we're all dying from the previous guy's fucking blankets. We want to have an alliance. Fucking the majority of these fuckers were like, let's not do this. They're, the white man is dead. Okay? And he's like, uh, you know? And like, they're like, let's make some fucking alliances with we'll make alliances with that other tribe that we've been like in battle with for a millennia. We will fucking lay down this shit, Hatfield and McCoy. We're laying, the, we're laying down the hatchet. We'll go hang out with them before we hang out with these fuckers. Like that's how much they didn't trust these bitches. But he was like, oh no, man. And it's fine. It's fine. They're, they're, they're gonna be fine. And they were like, they've been like fucking raiding our coasts for decades enslaving our people taking them off to who the fuck knows where and it's like we're pretty sure they cause all these epidemics and like we talked to our fucking shaman and this they said they prophesized that these white men are gonna be the end of our people like we are not gonna do this shit so like I mean, he did it anyway, and unfortunately, should have listened. Right. Should have listened. Have, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and a smallpox free blanket. But he didn't have any of those. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> not the smallpox free blanket. He didn't have that. <laughs> he didn't have it. <laughs> they were just fucking dying, guys. Uh, so, unfortunately, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, so, you know, after all of this was, like, said and done, and they had literally fucking, you know, wiped out and taken over half of this land, and they really did. They And as much as I joked about smallpox, that was, like, the tip of the iceberg. Like, it's not even just that they brought over smallpox. They brought over, like, a fucking cold. Like, if you have you ever gone to another country and they tell you not to drink the water but then you're like but the locals are drinking the water the fuck it's because they live there you know what i mean like they can they're drink used to water. water their body is a they're used to it. That weird microbiome i drink the water and i'm gonna sh- literally shit myself so my insides are on my outsides like this is how i die sides you know what i mean mm-hmm. and like but but why? And that's what happened. Like, so they were, li- and, and I'm not, and I, while I will be like, I'm being facetious about it saying, oh, they brought them over. It was not on purpose. They were not literally like cough, cough, coughing on blankets and giving it to them. They also weren't really giving them blankets. Like they weren't being that nice. They weren't giving them anything. They were selling them shit. Like they were like, I will, we are bartering this. I'll give you these blankets. Uh, I'll give you a blanket if you will give me uh, all of your potatoes. You know, or something stupid like that. Yeah. It's how they survived because, again, they didn't know how to fucking farm. So, um, yeah. And it Epidemiology wasn't a big thing back then, so they didn't know what they were doing. Oh, my God. Do you know how I learned the origin? Like, you know that ice cream was killing, like, fucking children uh, when ice cream was invented? It was, really? like, killing kids in England. Because really, yeah. Because first things first, no one knows about germ theory. Second things second, they would call these things. It was like it was like it was called like a a penny lick or something like that. And it was a it was an ice cream cone. Like you love how my ADHD moment happened. It was an ice cream cone, but it was like a it wasn't like a it was a like a glass ice cream like ice cream holder cone like a, cup holder a little, a little bowl thingy or whatever. And you would sit there and you would lick the ice cream scoop out of this little bowl and then you would give it back to the person. And then you would and go up. Wash it. And then the and person the would just take it 
and then put and some more ice up. cream into the bowl and give it to, to, to Sally next to you for her yeah. penny. So that's why it was called a penny lick. And this is happening. And then these fucking kids are getting like shit, shit and Terry over there and dying of like typhoid and whatnot. Also, these fuckers are making this ice cream with the water from the fucking shit water. You know, that and then they're also rinsing the little bowl, rinsing it in the shit water, like in the water, like they're basically in like a bucket and they're using the same bucket of water to like, <laughs> but because all these kids were dying, you know, because, you know, it takes, it takes, it takes dying kids for you to do anything. Um, it, that's how we got, you know, some regulation for that. But also that's how we got waffle cones. From an Italian, it was an Italian and a Spanish man and two immigrants made, invented waffle cones. At the St. Louis World's Fair. To uh, make sure that, uh, you know, because you can eat them and they don't fucking die because you yep. eat that and you're done. <laughs> 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 I learned that from the Weird History Channel on on, uh, on YouTube. It's my favorite channel ever, guys. If you need something to watch ever, Weird History on YouTube. It's amazing. Um, so anyway, now the origins of the whole feasty thing is because flat people like to look at shit, right? They like to look at what you do and they're like, we weren't invited. <laughs> <laughs> because Native Americans literally could like, comm- like they were commemorating the fall harvest with feasting and like fucking parties and having a good time for fucking ever. They had a fall harvest. So you see these people over here with their whole bounty having a good time and partying over here on their community property and you're over here starving with your smallpox blanket because you weren't invited to the party because you're an asshole and you're like I could do that better. I'm going to make some bland mashed potatoes and the turkey so dry I'm going to choke. <laughs> And that's my Thanksgiving tradition. <laughs> so yeah. So they fucking never did that beforehand. So it's not that the Thanksgiving feast didn't happen. It just wasn't Thanksgiving and it wasn't uh to commit it wasn't a Kumbaya, my pilgrim friends, Kumbaya. It wasn't any of that friendship. shit. It wasn't all that. Yeah. No fucking friendship to be had. Yeah. Like they were they were so seriously like maybe we are going to be let's maybe realize this and they didn't even want that they didn't even want that like they barely barely wanted the alliance and old dude almost got usurped so many times trying to be make that alliance even happen so um but the whole thing, Thanksgiving in that shell is fucking propaganda. It is uh oh yeah. Propaganda trying to unify and community building and coming together because the US was in the middle of a civil war that was just about over, and Lincoln was like, We have so we have a problem because like uh I don't really know how you think your Thanksgiving is bad because, you know, your, you know, your uncle is a raging QAnon racist and you have to go sit down next to him at dinner. Imagine that first dinner after the Civil War when, you know, you come back and you have to sit next to your fucking, you know, brother and he's missing his leg and you, you're over here and you're like, you know, have an eye patch on and y'all both like fought on different sides of the war. Oof. Mm. Ako taco. But also the QAnon uncle was probably a little bit worse, not gonna lie to you. Cause I feel like they just wouldn't have talked. <laughs> yeah. They would just shut the fuck up. Um, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. So, keep on talking and be like, God damn it, uncle, just stop. You just walk by him and just like just dunk his head in potatoes. Like, shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, so uh, so this is 
thing though. One other really creepy, sad, horrible fact, right? So 1863 is when Lincoln, Lincoln was, uh, so I have a really weird issue with Lincoln. Lincoln was a very, Lincoln was a human, okay? And a product of his mm-hmm. time. At the beginning, uh, Lincoln was somebody who you can see, that you can say that they changed their minds on, on slavery. And it, a large part of it was because he became friends with Frederick Douglass, Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, he realized mm-hmm. that black people actually have brains and they're smart. And I feel like a lot of that is, you know, if you don't have any experience with anybody of another race, class, uh, uh, gender, sexual orientation, all you have are your biases and you don't have mm-hmm. any, so you mm-hmm. don't know. And then it, until you actually talk to them and then you're able to actually Okay. Now, should it be that way? The fuck no. But unfortunately, that's just the way we are as humans. So anyway, he's a, he's a very complex person. I say this because what I'm about to say is going to make him look a little tainted. All right. So Lincoln, I said he wanted to establish this as a way to improve relations between North and Southern states, as well as with the tribal nations. He was like, we want to bring you into our history like you've played a part. Okay. Because like literally a year prior to this, there was a mass execution of like the Dakota tribal members. Like some yeah. super corrupt federal agents like kept the Dakota Sioux from receiving food and provisions. They were like, no yeah. food for you. Hope you didn't want to not smallpox blanket. I think those were over by that time, you know, because it's a fucking 1800. So hope you didn't want an actual blanket. Um, so finally, at the brink of death, because they're fucking starving, the members of the tribe just fought back. They're like, well, what are we going to do? We're going to die anyway, so we're going to fucking take you out with me, which, exactly. So that was ultimately the, the War of 1862. And in the end, Lincoln ordered 38 Dakota men to die by hanging. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. He's like, Thanksgiving is an opportunity to bridge that. No hard feelings! No hard feelings! (laughs) 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 I'm just gonna order these guys to die, but happy Thanksgiving together, guys! You're gonna forget, right? You're gonna forget. You forgot because it's been a year. Y'all have, y'all, y'all, it's been been a year. You've forgotten about those 38 people. no, 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 Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, Lincoln, Lincoln, that's, Lincoln. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I grow, I, I, I'm i living in, I live in Illinois, like, Link, land of Lincoln. He's like this oh, big yeah. mythical thing across oh, the stage. And I'm just like, it's dude very, wasn't, yeah, dude well, wasn't that was great, first, okay? Oh, he was the first president to be embalmed, though. That is true. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so embalming was invented, or like, not invented, but embalming was, um, actually like became like a popular thing imaging to do because of the civil mm-hmm. war because it had to be shipped the fuck back to where they came from from the battlefield um, mm-hmm. and you know because they're fucking they don't you might die in missouri but your ass is from fucking jersey so they gotta get your ass back to home mm-hmm. so they, they so bombing became a thing but people were still like oh that's creep creep because it kind of is creepy so lincoln mm-hmm. was like oh well, i don't want to be buried in motherfucking over here in Virginia, I want to go. Yeah, home. they want he he wanted to come back to Illinois, and so they and of course, him yeah, and his son. They and they mm-hmm. and they undug Involved his son together, and then they buried them together in Illinois. Yeah, yeah. The first Plus, they, it went it went it wasn't just like straight Washington to Springfield. Mm-hmm. It was no, literally it was like train. Washington to like Pennsylvania to New York. He went like all over the fucking north. It was like a whole like finally coming train back for him, right? They, I mean, yeah, yeah. Why do you want to see this? Like, uh, right? Some people who went to go see this, well, they didn't have body, TV. Like, they like been fine. Nothing else to do. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, why you go back and wave? I feel the way about like executions to people. Like, I'm gonna go see the execution. Why was it? Why? Anyway, so um, it's not <laughs> like it's a super it's a super weird thing because like. Native Americans have that really huge like uh, about it kind of a deal because it's, it's a holiday and you're like you don't want to be like that weird people that it's a ho- so you're gonna eat but you're not gonna like celebrate 
Um, they don't really acknowledge this as Thanksgiving, though. They say, I'm going to get together with my family. It's going to be about sharing a meal together, but we're not going to talk about the Mayflower and the Pilgrims and stuff like that, which is hilarious because, honestly, neither the fuck did any Americans, really. No. Mm-hmm. No, no, that's not anymore. Much. It's all about food mm-hmm. and then shopping afterwards. Yep. But, yeah, so... Capitalism. Note, yeah. So, like... The Pilgrims weren't actually supposed to even go into Plymouth, Massachusetts. But, you know, they <laughs> and, GPS. Uh, GPS was GPS off. Was thing. The winter sucked and they chose to fucking sail from England at the Who sails this late? <laughs> like, like, this was not the first boat. Why the fuck did you take so long? Like, you you knew. <laughs> yeah. You knew. you knew how long this was going to take. So, what was it that finally was like, I can't stand another winter here. We got to go now. Now. So they, <laughs> the harsh winter was approaching and the storm, and then like a storm set them off course. They're supposed, they're supposed to go to Virginia, honestly, but they didn't make it. Um, so they spent like fucking six full weeks around Cape Cod looking for like a good spot to be. And then like, they were like, we don't know where to go. That's Fuck it out. Oh god. But so the but then one thing I never ended up covered besides like the whole they want a cold thing was the disease that they actually did bring. They really did bring diseases. They did not they brought livestock diseases. Which was also a bad thing, you know, because Native Americans are hunters and gatherers. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. their thing. And they yeah. brought a whole bunch of like livestock diseases because mm-hmm. They're dirty bitches. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> they're they were throwing their shit out of windows. They were like throwing their shit into the water in the tents. Which this is the thing. Like they were calling like Native Americans savage and barbaric and un, you know, un like, you know, uncivilized. These fuckers knew how to keep their water clean. Mm-hmm. They knew they knew to baths. They do not to shit where they eat. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're but, throwing their shit pots out the window. Yeah. But they're unhygienic. Sure jam. So anyway, so they had, uh, they also brought like overcrowding diseases, you know, like fucking typhoid and shit and poor hygiene because they don't fucking bathe. Again, weird as fuck to me. So they believed that bathing was unhealthy and they didn't remove all their clothing when they bathed. They like, you know, because it was like not, it was, it was immodest to be naked. I'm like, who the fuck is watching you? But sure, Jan. God can so see like, that nakedness. God can see your naked. So like literally the pilgrims were funky to the Native Americans. Like they smelled like fucking Funyuns, hot chips, and like just that that kid in the basement that, that hasn't seen that, that hasn't seen a lot of day like just old onions, just you know? must, mm, oh, no. must and bo, and like just mm. old must adults be, must fries, just bad, right? Mm. To the point mm. where like they were trying to get them to like teach them how to bathe. They're like, hi, we're gonna teach you how to farm, but also, do you want to know about soap? <laughs> like the middle school guidance counselors. <laughs> do you wanna? Do you wanna know about how to, how to wash clothes? Um, pits and bits. Do you wanna learn about the pits and the bit theory? Like, you don't have to get. I'm not even gonna ask you to get like naked. Fully naked. Like, can just, you maybe just pits and bits? Hit, 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 hit the pits. Hit the bits. And maybe wash your clothes. Like, take them all the way off. And wash them. You can put other clothes on if you have them, but just take those off. Put a new outfit wash on, them. wash the old outfit. Just hit it with a bar of soap. Come on. For me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for my nose. For, for me. My nostrils. <laughs> nostrils. So, like... <laughs> uh, yeah, so... It was... They... Before they got there, like three years before they got there, the English and the French um, literally wiped out 90 to 96% of the inhabitants of coastal New England. 
Oh Lord. Fucking diseases. Uh yeah. Because of the they, they because of their transmitted diseases they brought over because they're fucking funky. Um and then those who did survive, like there's like only a few, like, you know, like 10% of them left. Those who did survive, like, went to go join other communities. And they just brought their fucking illnesses because, you know, they're fucking carriers without knowing it to those communities and then starts wiping them out, causing more. So they're, fu- they're fucking, like, just super spreaders over here. And it was insane. So once the pilgrims, like, arrived in, like, 1620, the fucking, that's why, that's why uh, the Quampanong were like, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, not us, not us, not them. Mm-hmm. No, we, we, we heard what happened to the fuckers up there. Not today, Satan. Like, that's no. why they knew. That's why they said no. You know what I mean? Like, we're not going to do this. Nope. And, um, and, but then the pilgrims were like, well, you know, that's actually just, it's, it's divine providence. God built them. God built us to take over the land by killing y'all. Yeah. With I a just wanted face. you all to die. With a straight face. They said, well, because you all are heathens. And uh, it doesn't matter. You know how to be. Yeah. God fearing people. So, uh, hey, they feared God enough that they feared soap. Mm-hmm. They're soap feared. <laughs> <laughs> soap is not godlike. <laughs> So, does not make soap. I didn't. I did not hear soap mentioned in the Bible. They washed his feet with water. They never said soap. So I'm not doing it. You need you to be specific. Um. So you know how Squanto has all been it, right? You know, like Squanto. You don't know Squanto. He was part of the uh, fucking Wampanoag tribe. He's the one that like spoke English. He knew because you know he was mm-hmm. fucking trafficked. Anywho. So they were like, Squanto's the one who taught us how, taught them how to grow crops and take advantage, take advantage of North American bounties. And he was the one that was like in the in the photos at the front. It's not mm-hmm. like the, the chief, it's Squanto at the front. Okay. Well, poor on Squanto or to Squantum as his actual name, because Squanto is the fucking, you know, white people name for him. We're gonna call him Tis. Um he God. was actually uh, a slave trader captured him like six years beforehand. Him and some like another group of, uh, group of Native Americans, and like fucking you know he was in slavery. When and the Catholic Church is who who helped him escape, and that's how he found him in England, where he learned English, and then he returned back to North America in 1619, and back to his people. He got to go back home. So while he was overseas, you know, escaping from being human trafficked, uh, that's when everybody died. And so when he gets back, and you go back to his village of Patset, he's like, uh, everybody's dead. He fucking just found bones. Mm. He's like, um, the fuck? And he realized he was a sole survivor of his village. And to the point where it spread so fast that nobody even had time to like bury their dead. Like they just left their bodies there. So they're just bones. Oof. Like it was so bad. Oh. And where his village once was is the Pilgrim Plantation. Mm. Stop! Mm. Mm. Built their plantation on the bones of his people. Yeah. So- so I know it just it just keeps feel good and bright. So oh, yeah, I am mm, just a feel good Thanksgiving lovely lesson. So anyway, so they lost like seven percent of seven percent of their people. The Wampanoag tribe did, and an enemy tribe, the the Nargasa, the one that they were like this people were like, let's go join them fuckers. They didn't lose anybody really. They didn't lose that much. So when the leader was like, let's go join the pilgrims against this enemy tribe his his fucking people were like let's not <laughs> let's fucking not <laughs> and he was like but fucking Tis he speaks English go ask him and so the chief goes over to Tis and like be a translator and um but he really didn't trust him so he was like you're actually going to be a prisoner 
because I don't know if I trust you because you've been with a white man a little bit too long and I feel like you might be a little bit they might have rubbed off on you so you're gonna be a translator but also like my prisoner so Tiss was like not again not the fuck again like I refuse to be a slave again which more power to you my guy so he was like you know what uh pilgrims I'm gonna be your resource um I'm gonna teach you how to survive I'm gonna be like instrumental to you so that I don't have to be a slave to him like it wasn't like he did it because he wanted to he didn't do it because he liked him he did it because like he got he being a nice guy he got trafficked for six years escaped finally made it back home everyone's dead that can vouch for him as a cool person and then he goes back to the tribe he's like I'm one of you and they're like mm, you're so white no no you're not you sound a little white like you're black but you don't talk black oof oof you, sound, mm. you talk you seem like you seem like a little bit of a I guess what would be a what would be a uh, an Indian version of an Oreo Nutter Butter <laughs> <laughs> Nutter butter? Oh, I hate myself so much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Nutter butter. Well, <laughs> If there's any Native, um, any Americans listen to this, uh, listen to this podcast or, or, the, or listen to the bonus episode, or if you happen to release it as a main episode later on, and you do have a version of the Oreo that we use for Black people who talk, or Black uh, side and white on the inside, uh, and uh, please let me know what that is. If it's a cookie version, I would love to know. And if it's not a butter, please let me know. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> so they're like, mm, don't really love you. Um, I'm going to and coconut, but <laughs> that's probably not it either. <laughs> I think, I think that's what they call, like, like, Hispanics. Yeah, that's actually, I think so. That'll work, too, though. I think that'll work, too. Um, but then he's like, they're like, oh, well, we don't, we don't, we don't trust you, Tis. And then he's like, okay, because I speak English? My guy, I was fucking trafficked. And they're like, yeah, that's great. <gasps> oh, no. Am I still recording? Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Over here. Sure. Yeah. My little thing has a check mark next to it. You've all got check marks. You have check marks. But I don't have a I don't have Allie has um volume going. Yeah, and I don't. Mine doesn't either for me, but it does for you. Okay. Yeah, you guys okay, don't cool. you, you guys don't see yours, but I can see all of you. You're fine. I freaked out. Okay. Anyway, so they're like, Tiss, we don't trust you. And he was like, I love that for me. I love that I was kidnapped. I'm being punished for being kidnapped. Soup's great. Um, I came back to y'all and you still want to be like, mm, fuck a bitch. So I'm going to go hang out with these fucking white men that I don't like either, but at least I don't get you as a slave. So he goes over there. He's like, I'll teach you how to survive. What else? So then the Wampanoag and the Pil- Pilgrims make a treaty that established that, you know, the tribe would look out for the Pilgrims against their enemies and then vice versa. So like Squanto basically was able to do this because he had been acquainted with the pilgrim world because he was in it. And he crossed the Atlantic, he crossed the Atlantic like six times, six, twice as English captive and he lived in Maine and Newfoundland and Spain and England and Massachusetts. Uh, so then, yeah. So the pilgrims have celebrated their successful harvest in like 1621. They're like, yeah, we had a good harvest. We have good stuff. Whoop de doo, right? They shoot their guns in the air that they got from the white man, and fucking the, the chief of the Wampanoags are like, yeah, it's bringing the warriors together from prepare for battle. Who celebrates the fucking good harvest with battle? But instead of fighting, <laughs> uh, the the Wampanoag and the pilgrims work together to prepare a feast. That's like what we think, right? Um, <laughs> however, um, according to like the Indian country today. Which is an art, which is a newspaper that's run for Native Americans in 
uh, they say that Thanksgiving Day is a time for grief. Many Native Americans continue to gather at Coles Hill, near Plymouth Rock, and remember the losses experienced the past 400 plus years through the National Day of Mourning. It began in 1970 uh, when the Commonwealth of Massachusetts invited uh, Wamsutta Frank James to address the public on behalf of the Wampanoag people. Look at them trying to fucking take it back. They're like, reparations? <laughs> um, however, uh, <laughs> this is the best part, right? So, okay, okay, okay. They didn't. This is the best part. You think they're trying to take it back, right? They're like, come and address the people. They weren't. So, like, come, let's talk about how, like, the pilgrims and y'all are buddies. Ah. But then when they learned about what he actually was going to say, uh, which included highlighting the death and the broken promises that the settlers and the colonial powers in the United States had, like, you know, done, uh, they disinvited him. They're like, oh, no, Uh you can't. No. No. no, no. You only no. want you to come if you're going to say nice things. That um, makes us look bad. We can't have we that. We only want nice things. And if there weren't any nice things being said about how the, the pilgrims were soups nice people who helped you with your enemies um, and never killed you ever, I don't want to talk to you. And so he was yeah. disinvited, right? So then they said, okay, well, fuck you too. So they made the National Day of Mourning. And now they come out in fucking droves and like mourn. So he wrote, he was like, this action, um, the action by Masat, the um, leader of the Wampanoag people back in the day, was our biggest mistake. We, the Wampanoag, welcomed you, the white man, with open arms, little knowing that it was the beginning of the end. He was like, you got it, bitch. So yeah. Mm, so that's the thing it's that is the story of thanksgiving it is not a good one uh it is nothing to do with a feast really um the feast was only because lincoln was lincoln and uh revisionist history is revisionist history in actuality it was just a whole bunch of people coming over and stealing land and then not knowing how to live on it and needing help to live on it, and then lying and saying we were going, we we're going to help you if you help us, and then taking, and taking, and killing. White people, Oops. white peopleing, and that <laughs> history of Thanksgiving, uh, disease. What was it? Di- <laughs> <laughs> no, I it was like oh, death, God. disease, and. <laughs> and that was the uh, three um, and that is the history of, the, of thanksgiving massacre disease and smallpox blankets but seriously y'all um it is revisionist history is one of those things that always makes me chuckle because history is written by the victors right like what Uh people Mm -hmm. people don't understand like that's the that's the the problem of historians is that historians are trying really hard to find both sides of history to tell a complete story and that way you're able to that's why you can't villainize everybody when it comes to everything like every war both sides believe they're fighting for what's right Side, mm-hmm. what's right and most of the time in the war most people who are fighting are just fighting because they're being told to yeah like a lot of the times most people in wars don't have any fucking skin in the fight especially in wars of like the 
I would say like the 19th, 20th century, they have no skin in the fight. You know what I mean? A lot of the time, like they're being fed the same Kool-Aid we are. So they, they're fighting thinking that they're being told or they're being, it things they're, they're fighting on base of what they're being told and they're not being told the whole truth. So we yeah. can't get mad at people for not knowing mm-hmm. the whole truth about Thanksgiving because we're never fucking told. Um, and now that you know, I'm not saying don't celebrate Thanksgiving. That's stupid. But what I'm saying is don't walk around on Thanksgiving Day pro fucking play with some pilgrim hats and whatever it is and not think about the actual genocide and um, just war and disease and full on pain that happened and it wasn't just a happy go lucky good good day and nobody nobody came out smelling like roses especially the Europeans when they didn't take baths mm-hmm. <laughs> no soap <Yeah. laughs> but really but- I actually didn't know most of that like I knew I knew obviously the majority of the lot of our first Thanksgiving was What's the word I'm looking for? Sorry, sprinkle eyes and whitewash and but I didn't know all that back backstory. Like, yeah. I'm glad I am glad I could educate you. Yeah. I'm the Club Bob uh, Schoolhouse. It really makes me happy it. that I was able to educate and not bore. That is my that is always my um my goal when telling historical stories. Um now whenever I tell historical stories, I will say this. First of all, I got all of my um, knowledge from the Smithsonian Magazine and then the Citizen Potawatomi Nation, uh, their website as well. So those are the two places I got my information from. But if I ever, if, if you know something else and I got something wrong, I mispronounced something or I didn't say something in depth, I mean, this is only like an hour and some change of, of me coming over this. Like, I didn't give you the full breakdown. I didn't go fully into the wars. I didn't go fully into like the actual geopol- the geopolitical part of what was going on and like the economical part of what was going on and what actually happened the first few times the European, European stepped foot on there. If you want me to, your girl will dust off some fucking uh, one of her- 1998 old- encyclopedias. <laughs> I will do it. Um, but seriously, like history was one of world world history and literature was one of my concentrations when I was in um in my for my bachelor's for my undergrad degree. So I do really passionately like this stuff. And um if you want to know more about in general some of this stuff, I highly recommend there's a podcast called History That Doesn't Suck. Um and he's a he's a history professor, his name is uh Professor Greg Jackson, and he tells history you like u.s history he goes from the beginning and right now i'm only up to uh the wild west area era of it all but he tells it through stories so it's it's very much just how i told this story but it's all fact checked it's multiple sources he cites his sources it's really good there's cool like music behind it and there's like that it's really well done um And if you want to, and you can always skip around if you want to learn about certain parts of history, you can, you can kind of, you can see the chunks of where it is. If you want to learn more about the Civil War, you can see the Civil War part. It's very long. The Civil War was very long, but you can kind of skip around however you you want to. I like, I'm a chronological person, so that's why I'm going in order, but um, it's a very good podcast. History that that doesn't suck. Professor Greg Jackson. But it's, I don't usually like U.S. history because U.S. history is very small. We're a very young country. Um, it's very, to me, sometimes drier um, and a lot of times um, rooted in, uh, in, in Black trauma. And yep. I don't really want to mm-hmm. feel about that right now. I'm not really in that space. Ah! So I don't really know. So I will be very, very transparent in that a lot of my concentrations when it came to my studies was world history because I didn't really care much. Because when you go to school in the U.S., U.S. history is like pummeled down your throat, and you're just like, mm-hmm. I don't. Care. But this podcast is great because it actually tells it in a way that I don't feel as like pummeled with information. 
because it's done by it's, right. it's storytelling. Yeah. I love a good story. Um, and I can take it at my own pace. I'm not in the class or anything. So I do highly recommend that if you want to know more. But if you have anything else that you want me to talk about, if it'll be, I will research the fuck out of a topic and I'll talk about it. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Um, I, know we have, I know we have patrons in other countries and we'd love to learn about mm-hmm. some of your shitty history oh too. <laughs> I would love to learn about your shitty history. So... Give me a name, a topic, a, like a war, a, a person, a, a fucking time period, and I'm going to do a deep dive and I will retell it and it'll be great or not. Who knows? This, if it has really horrible pronunciations of things, I will do the sound it out theory. And if it comes out horribly, I'm sorry, I'm calling Tiss. Look at it, you squat though. Um... <laughs> Um, I'll give it one college try and I'll give him a nickname after that. Um, <laughs> you tried. You tried. Yeah, I, you give, tried. I give it one oh, shot, man. guys. I give it one shot. But this was, a bit, uh, this was a lot of fun for me. Like, um, real quick, if you would like, because I'm not sure how much they're going to cut out of my story because it was, it could have gone within some circles. Um, There's going to be very little cutting. It's a bonus. I don't care. Truth. If you want, we could also go around and say, like, because we're all from different regions. So I wonder, like, Mm -hmm. what is on your typical Thanksgiving spread? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Allie, what is on your Thanksgiving table? California. I don't know. Um, Is it basically. Is it it kale and, like, Erwan protein (laughs) snacks? And no. Air. no, we're black folk in California. We we like <laughs> <laughs> we need yeah, good we need that air. kale shit. We have, we got, we have seasoned air because we're black. <laughs> <laughs> we need mac and cheese, homemade mac and cheese, sweet potatoes, um, some kind of greens, whether it's greens or green beans, like collard greens or green beans, um. Stuffing, I don't care for stuffing, but stuffing needs to be on there for some reason. Um, and I got cranberry this year, but nobody touched cranberry. But it felt weird not to have cranberry on the table for some reason. You do you usually it. do canned or, like or can? homemade? Yeah. Oh, girl, I was running late, so I did can this year. <laughs> <laughs> was it ocean spray and did it have chunks yes. in it? Or was it just sheer no. jelly? It was a sheer jelly. I sliced them Shaped like the can. Quick. Yeah. That's a blast me. Who did who did not eat that? Beautiful goodness. That's what I'm saying. Nobody touched it. I think my sister did ate one slice. Or ham or both. I did turkey. Okay. I did so turkey. That's, that's, Sometimes that's, we'll that's, do that's, turkey that's, and ham. But this year spread. I was hosting, so it was only turkey. Well no, I mean, like, spread. Spread. Like, I mean I mean a typical spread. Like what you're when you grew up and Thanksgiving was happening at your house, what was happening? Yep. That okay. that, that was it. All right, Jess, your turn. Yes, okay. you're from I now. am. Yeah, you I am. Yep. I am white. I'm from Illinois, middle of the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> so we have casseroles. Oh was there cornbread salad? That's all on TikTok. It no, cornbread. no, cornbread we did not have salad? any cornbread. Stop it! <laughs> I will cornbread? send you the TikTok for cornbread salad because y'all, I was my mind, my mind hurt. I was like, it's like <laughs> bad enough you're trying to put like raisins in the sweet potato. Uh, uh, yeah, raisins and potatoes. Mm-hmm. Raisins and potato salad. Don't do that. Right, so go ahead, Jess. Okay, so we'd have turkey, we'd have stuffing, mm-hmm. um, green bean casserole, broccoli casserole, sweet potato casserole. <laughs> <laughs> All the casseroles. All the casseroles. Um, the canned cranberry sauce, and then this was just my grandpa, but he would make homemade chicken and noodles, and we'd have that on the side, like a soup. Like a soup? Kind of soupy, yeah. Okay. Yep. But it was right. homemade noodles and, and chicken. That's fine. That's just weird. I don't know who had yeah. soup Thanksgiving, but we're going to go with it. That was my grandpa. I'm he, mad at it. Yeah, he loved making noodles, so he's like, I'm going to work this into Thanksgiving somehow. <laughs> I'm here for this. Go ahead, Grandpa. Go ahead. Yep. All right, so I am your contribution to a Southern Thanksgiving. Now, it is a very big debate about Texas is South, but I don't care because I'm not actually from Texas, Texas, okay? My mom is from Tennessee. My dad is from Kansas. I grew up in Oklahoma and Texas and blah, 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 whatever, okay? I 
I'm from the South. This is a Southern Thanksgiving. We have a deep fried turkey and we have a ham with the pineapple circle on top of the cherry and the clove. Oh. And we also have, uh, we also have um, macaroni, macaroni and six cheese. Um, and then we have greens, which is usually a mixture of mustard, collard, and uh, turnip. I don't like greens, but they go from there. Yeah, I know. Green, I greens know. taste like grass to me, except for mustard greens. But no one ever just makes mustard greens, so. Mm. And do they usually have like the turkey pieces in the ham hock in the in the greens too mm-hmm. a little bit? I can make greens. I just don't like them. So, um, then there's also a uh, sweet potato casserole. Don't need that either. Um, texture problem. Mm-hmm. I have a little bit of ADHD issues there with the textures. So, um, and there's also green bean casserole. That's mainly for me because I love to do green bean casserole. There is also uh, fried corn. And ah. um, then there is also there is a uh, dressing and then it's um is it cornbread dressing yeah cornbread dressing and then there is uh giblet gravy and then there are like 75 pies and there's also rum cake and then there's like sweet potato pie uh there's apple pie there is never a pumpkin pie because we're black uh, but there's also rum cake. There is German chocolate cake, but nobody eats it but my but my fucking mom. I don't know why. Oh she my god, it. my but dad most, loves German none chocolate cake. Like coconuts. None of us like coconuts. Um, and <laughs> then there's a chess pie. My grandma's in town. Um, and then I feel like I'm missing something. It's a lot. Oh, and then there's rolls, obviously. Of yep. Course. And mm-hmm. um, and then there's fried potatoes. We don't do mashed potatoes. We do fried potatoes. Sometimes, like, it's evolved. Now we do mashed potatoes. But before it was fried potatoes. And that's our Thanksgiving. It's pretty nice. It's a lot of, it's a lot of food. A it lot. is a lot of food. I forgot the corn this year. I knew something felt different. I forgot the corn this year. Thanksgiving is just a lesson in gluttony. Oh, oh, but I will tell you on the flip side. I went to white like, people Thanksgiving because, you know, my partner is quiet. And uh, there it's was different, isn't it? <laughs> oh god, there was ambrosia salad. Oh my god. Oh god, yeah, I forgot. Every year I look at it and I'm just like, that's one that's usually on our table. <laughs> I don't eat it, but yeah, no. what ambrosia salad is? It's like um, it's like I think it's canned oranges, like the mandarin oranges, and then like pineapple, canned pineapple, and then is it like the it? canned um, yeah, is it the canned fruit cocktail? The way my family make it, it, yeah, the fruit cocktail in the Cool Whip. That canned and, fruit cocktail in the Cool Whip, yeah, basically? Yeah, and I think, like, a yogurt or something. Marshmallows, marshmallows, too. Yeah. All, all of it made my all my texture meters go, whoa! <laughs> um, and then also, There's also, also the cousin of that is the pistachio salad. Oh, yeah, the green one? Yeah, the green one. Oh, I don't like There's a green, green one? It's yeah, it's one, it's pistachio jello mixed into the Cool Whip with um, uh, marshmallows, uncooked jello, just the jello powder. My yeah, just the jello powder. Oh, that actual jello. My okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> is, it better, just powder? is it better that it's just the powder? <laughs> I was trying to picture like jello squares, like in with. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I, I'm just trying to picture the texture on that one. <laughs> Both suck. Both so suck. the texture differences too much. <laughs> so then they also always have like what they call a relish tray. And I, the first time I came over to their house, I thought a relish tray meant like a tray full of different kinds of relishes. And I was really confused why you would have that. I'm like, who just eats little spoonfuls of relish? <laughs> uh, it's not. It is like pickles and like other accoutrement. It's a fucking veggie tray. And I'm like, why do you call it a relish it's like tray? Like a charcuterie board, basically. No, it's just no, it it's looks just, like a veggie tray. It's a veggie Veggies tray. Veggies and pickles and dip. There's already dip on theirs, but it's just veggie tray. It's like fucking cucumbers and cherry tomatoes and broccoli and fucking pickles. <laughs> That's an odd one. I'm not gonna lie. They always, have, they always have cold rolls, like rolls just pulled out from the package and put onto the table. Um, 
with cold butter and I'm like, then none of this is gonna melt no. guys. And then uh <laughs> and they always have craft mac and cheese and I'm like, this is trash. And then, but they're the sweetest people. The sweetest. But and his mom made sure there was the canned cranberry jelly cranberry sauce for me, so Oh my god, I brought mac and cheese to my boy or boy August fiance's family. No, you know, fiance. I know, it's still weird to say. Oh, dear lord. Um, last year, and there was like, what? Mac and cheese? We usually don't have mac and cheese. I went, you're welcome. <laughs> 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 and they loved it. And they came over. I hosted this year with my family, both families met um, for Thanksgiving this year. And so they were like, Oh yeah, we had she brought mac and cheese last year, so I'm so excited this year for mac and cheese for Thanksgiving again. <laughs> it's like you're welcome, you're welcome. We're going the opposite. So I we hosted Thanksgiving at Philip's house before he sold it. I think it was last year, year before last year, whatever. And we made everything there, and I made mac and cheese, six cheese mac and cheese. The kids wouldn't eat it because it wasn't craft <gasps> mac and cheese. Stop. No. <laughs> And like this year, I made stuffed mushrooms. Nobody mm. ate them. Oh, uh, because it's just too much seasoning. It's just weird. That smells weird. Love that. Like, <laughs> it's just too much seasoning. It's weird. <laughs> Stop it. I was like, it's like it's boring. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna put the I'm not gonna put the jalapeno in there. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna spice it for you. So it's literally just borsen cheese, laughing cow cheese, and a fucking mushroom cap. And then his, yeah, his niece, nothing. His niece was like, oh, it smells awful. And she's like, she was like, I was like, just eat it. She was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my fucking god. Like I just don't like mushrooms, so that's just me. But like, come on, kids, like. <laughs> Least try and that's a whole that's a whole separate kettle of fish. That's fine. You don't like mushrooms, but like if you don't like mushrooms, don't 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 waste my food. I love mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. I took them all. I took them home and I eat them the next day. All playing Borderlands. I'm not the point. But like yeah, this is the this is the shit I'm dealing with my family right now because my mom is like so ingrained and in, I've got to make uh grandma and grandpa's recipes. I got to do what I've always done my entire life, and I'm bringing my wife in, and she's like, oh, here's like these um asparagus this asparagus dish that i like so much and here is it is and this literally just her and me eating the asparagus nobody else touched it God, <laughs> i'm like you know we can mix things up it was just but i'm like oh we can't like so we made all the food at philip's house for uh thanksgiving like that was the thing we tried to mix it up and like that's what i realized his, his, his sister is apparently a very picky eater she's always grown up the way their kids are that way too and i was just like oh my god that was weird that day. it's, it's okay. and it's so weird because he is such a foodie he's like a culinary like genius in the kitchen eats anything but green bell pepper that's all this is and, <laughs> you know, and i'm like okay i'm more picky than him because i have a texture issue and that's it and like, but it was so weird. But anyway, so that is Thanksgiving, guys. That is, uh, and let us know your Thanksgiving traditions. And um, do other countries celebrate a, t- a type of Thanksgiving? And if they do, have you always celebrated a type of Thanksgiving? Or did you, or is something that happened because of like, the Americas did it? And you're like, well, we want to do that too. And then if you do, like, do you have like a weird, like, like a adapt like some kind of weird an adaptation of American Thanksgiving or you do your own like thing. You know what I mean? Like I was looking at those things. Like if they if they because a lot of times like you know like like prom or something like that. Like that's a typical American thing. I know like some countries like adapted certain things because you know when at the when rest when the internet happened and people saw more things that happened in the US, they're like, oh I wonder that too. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder if other countries do a type of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Because I know like Black Friday, I think, is more of a thing across the world now just because of the internet and you can shop Mm -hmm. online. Yes. Even though it's trash now, but still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Black Friday really was not nothing this year. No. Mm -mm. I didn't buy anything. There was like no sales. There was no sales for nothing. No. I bought cat litter on Cyber Monday, but not because I needed it. Not because that was a sale. I, I needed it. And it happened to be on sale. Yeah, I don't. 
I didn't right, nothing. Well. Didn't buy nothing. Yep. Well, that's our bonus. I hope you enjoyed. I hope yeah. you uh, have a little more insight on the uh, how kind of shitty uh, pilgrims were. I mean, we already knew they were shitty because remember the whole witch trial thing. But you know, and yeah. puritanical nonsense, and that's why Americans are afraid of titties. Also, why <laughs> you know they were so afraid of titties even back then. They didn't even take their body. They didn't take their clothes off to bathe. The grossies. So yeah, now you know. Yep. The more you know. <laughs>